Hi, my name is Darlene Czech and I am from Hillsong Church, Sydney, Australia. Salam, is man. Darlene Cheke و من از کلیسای هیلسونگ در سیدنی استرالیا میام. We are a church that is known for our worship. ما یک کلیسایی هستیم که شناخته شده هستیم برای پرستشمون. And leadership. برای رهبریمون. And you may have heard some of our songs over the years. چه در خلال این سالها بعضی از سرودهای ما رو شنیده باشید. Songs such as Shout to the Lord. مثل Shout to the Lord. This is my desire. Uh, this is my desire. The power of your love. یا yeah. Power of love. And I'm part of um, a wonderful worship team here in Australia. And can I say it is my absolute honor and privilege to be speaking to you today. So why don't we just take a moment and pray. Father God, You are my Lord and you are my life. And I thank you today that I find myself here with these amazing women. And I thank you, Lord, that you will give me clarity of mind to convey truths that are from your word. I pray that your will will be done. We love you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Well, I'm going to share with you today something very practical. امروز میخوام یه نکته خیلی عملی رو با شما در میون بگذارم. But I've entitled this teaching. و به این تعلیم هم لقبه. Making your dreams a reality. به واقعیت در آوردن رؤیاها و آرزوها رو دادم. Years ago. سالها پیش. My girlfriend Donna and I. یکی از دوستان من دونا و من. With lots of you know young babies. خب بچه های کوچیک داشتیم تعدادشون هم زیاد. working and serving you know in the team at church. هر دومون کار میکردیم هر دومون تو کلیسا هم فعالیت داشتیم. And wives to busy husbands. زندگی من خیلی شلوغ پلوغ بود شوهرامون هم کار میکردن. We really were searching for some answers on how to do motherhood, marriage, ministry. ولی ما میخواستیم جواب این سوال پیدا کنیم چطور هم یک مادر باشیم هم همسر باشیم هم خدمت کلیسایی بکنیم. I guess because we really wanted our lives to count for something. چون می‌خواستیم زندگیمون یه بهره‌ای داشته باشه، فایده‌ای داشته باشه. So we saw a conference advertised in another nation. دیدیم در یه جای دیگه یک کشور دیگه کنفرانسی هست. And so we we packed up our bags. بساتمون رو جمع کردیم. Left the children with the men. چمدونامون رو بستیم، بچه‌ها رو گذاشتیم پیش شوهرامون. Scary. ترسناک نه؟ And took off on what we had really hoped um, would be the answer to a prayer in our heart. رفتیم و فکر کردیم که حالا اینجا ما جواب سوال خودمون رو دریافت خواهیم کرد در این کنفرانس. We took the hugest notebooks to take notes in. بزرگترین دفترچه‌ای که می‌تونستیم پیدا کنیم برداشتیم با خودمون بردیم. We arrived at this conference with great expectation. اونجا رفتیم توقع داشتیم که خیلی چیزها دریافت کنیم. We met some amazing people. البته افراد بسیار عالی رو هم ملاقات کردیم. We heard some great teaching. تعالیم بسیار عالی رو هم شنیدیم. But when it came to the practical aspects of doing life well for the glory of God. ولی در مورد جنبه عملی زندگی برای جلال نام خدا We didn't come home with anything. برگشتیم هیچ چیزی هم یاد نگرفته بودیم. And we were so disappointed. خب ناامید شده بودیم. And do you know what? When we came home, we finally worked out. That for each one of us, it is different. That for each one of us, it is different. That for each one of us, it is different. That for each one of us, it is different. That for each one of us, it is different. That for each one of us, it is different. That for each one of us, it is different. That for each one of us, it is different. That for each one of us, it is different. That for each one of us, it is different. That for each one of us, it is different. That for each one of us, it is different. That for each one of us, it is different. That for each one of us, it is different. That for each one of us, it is different. That for each one of us, it is different. That for each one of us, it is different. That for each one of us, it is different. That for each one of us, it is different. That for each one of us, it is different. That for each one of us, it is different. That for each one of us, it is different. That for each one of us, it is Of seeing what is in your heart. سفر خودم یاد گرفتم که چطور اون چیزهایی که در دل شماست به واقعیت هم. So here is um, what is is like and was like for me. Here was my reality. برای من همیشه این طور بود و هست. اینجا حقیقت. And here is my dream. واقعیت. اینجا رویا هم. My reality seemed so far from my dream. And it was in this gap 
which I've affectionately now called the God Gap. <laughs> is what I want to teach you about today. About the God Gap. <laughs> we serve a big God. Amen. So your dreams are going to be big. But you know, I know I can I can make it sound lighthearted. But I know often when, when you are standing in your reality, you can lose all hope and just face constant disappointment when you feel that all that is in your heart is truly really impossible. The thing that is needed when it comes to living an effective Christian life, no matter where you find yourself today, boils down to one word. Faith. Iman. <laughs> we, we have a lot of faith teaching. But I'm going to try and make it as practical as I can for you today. Why don't we read together from Hebrews 11? It says, Now faith is being sure of what we hope for. And certain... Of what we do not see. Verse 2 says, This is what the ancients were actually commended for. Don't you want to be someone who is commended for your faith? I truly do. But I'm telling you, when I was standing in my reality, and the difference between that and my dream, all I felt was in the middle, being called, O ye of little faith. So faith is called evident. Evidence of things that are not seen. And it's called substance. That it says of things that are hoped for. It's an amazing concept. So you cannot see it. But you can hang your life off it. There's an amazing pastor in... Um, in Phoenix, Arizona. His name is Pastor Tommy Barnett. And he, I heard him say once that you'll know that your dream is from God. If it is totally impossible. <laughs> so do you all think you got a dream from God? <laughs> I have learned over years that where I need to live and position myself is in my God gap. In the unseen. It's scary. <laughs> it's unpredictable. But to be honest, it's the safest place to live. It's where I can confidently rest in the shadow of his wing. So remember what I'm talking about, your reality, which is doing life, day by day, but then you're looking to what is in your heart, your dream. And I'm talking about living in our God gap. Okay. There's one man who I have always dreamed of meeting in my lifetime. And that is Billy Graham. Some of you may know him, some of you may not. But you know what? He's been the greatest soul winner of the previous generation. 
And I love everything that his life represents. و من همه چیز درباره زندگی او دوست دارم. He is a man who's truly learned the secret. او انسانی است که اون سر رو یاد گرفته. Of giving away your life. که زندگی خود رو بدید در راه خدا. So that others may find life. و تمام زندگیشو داده برای خدا. And he's been a great example to just hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people on the earth. و نمونه بسیار عالی گذاشته برای صدها هزار نفر. And after reading his story, بعد از که من داستان ایشون رو خوندم, I understood that he was one ordinary man. فهمیدم که ایشون هم یه آدم معمولی مثل بقیه بوده. With a very big dream. ولی یه رؤیایی در دلش. An ordinary man just doing life over here. خب داشته اینجا زندگیش هم می‌کرده. With a dream in his heart over here. And he had learned the secret of living in faith in his, in his God gap. He has literally been given the privilege of leading millions to Christ. But do you know how he's done it? One day at a time. هر روز برای همون روز زندگی کرد. One crusade at a time. یک روز یک جلسه بشارتی بود. One good choice at a time. یک انتخاب برای یک روز. Sometimes in amazing stadiums. بعضی وقتا در استادیوم های بزرگ. But sometimes just with a man on the street corner. بعضی وقتا هم توی خیابون رو در رو به یه نفر بشارت داد. He had learned the reliable hand of God. یاد گرفت که چطور در دستهای مطمئن خدا باشه. Loving his wife and his children. خانومش بچه‌هاشو خیلی دوست داشت. Just doing life in the reality. خب داشت در واقعیت زندگی خود چه می‌کرد؟ Well. خوب هم زندگی می‌کرد. It's so inspiring. این چقدر امید میده به همه. But during um, the attacks of September 11. در واقع 11 سپتامبر we were in the United States as a family. My husband and I, our three children, and a team from Australia. We were in the United States as a family. My husband and I, our three children, and a team from Australia. And we were spending time going to churches and leading worship nights. We were going to churches and leading worship nights. We were going to churches and leading worship nights. We were going to churches and زمانی بسیار عالی بود وقت خوبی بود then while we were there September 11 happened ولی وقتی که ما اونجا بودیم 11 سپتامبر به وقوع پیوست این حادثه and the world was changed forever دنیا عوض شد I've, I personally, my, my eldest daughter actually was still in Australia دختر بزرگ من هنوز در استرالیا بود and you know they cancelled all international flights. ولی خب پروازای بین المللی همه قطع شده بود. Oh man, I found it so hard. ها برای من خیلی سخت بود. If there's one time when you want to gather your family and friends. وقتی هم چه حادثه‌ای پیش میاد آدم میخواد با دوستان و فامیل خودش باشه. You know it's in times of tragedy. در این زمان‌های تراژدی but there we were, and I was watching the TV along with so many countless millions. ولی خب ما اونجا مونده بودیم و داشتیم تلویزیون نگاه میکردیم مثل میلیون ها آدم دیگه. And they showed a picture of the um, the leaders of the state gathering together around um, President Bush. رهبران ایالات های مختلف نشون میدادن که دور آقای بوش جمع شده بودن. And they said across the screen there was this big banner and it said presenting Billy Graham, pastor. To the nation. و روی اون صحنه تلویزیون نوشته بود بیلی گراهام شبان ملت آمریکا. And then Billy Graham was asked to stand and address a nation in turmoil. و از آقای بیلی گراهام خواستن که برای یک ملت در تب و تاب سخنرانی کنه. It taught me a valuable lesson that day. یه درس پر ارزشی به من داد این موضوع. For Billy Graham. چون آقای بیلی گراهام an ordinary man with an extraordinary passion to serve Jesus Christ. He did not wake up one day and said, I'm going to be pastor to the nation. But he had learned through doing life well one day at a time in his reality and trusting God with the unseen. That here was a day that he was given the honor and privilege of speaking to something that had been a dream in his heart. 
سخنرانی بکنه اون رؤیایی که همیشه در دل خودش I really felt the Holy Spirit tell me that day that I must learn to live in my God gap. روح القدس اون روز با من صحبت کرد و گفت تو باید در این فاصله خدا در این شکاف زندگی کنی. Sometimes for women I think it is um a little different. بعضی وقتا برای زن‌ها یه مقدار این ام مشکله. Or maybe even a little harder might be the word. یه مقدار شاید مشکل‌تر باشه این Uh, Because we are great thinkers. So, ma, fakur hastim. You know, we can do a thousand things at once. Okay. Ma, mi turin be hezaran chiz dar ane vahed fek koni. But because we are great thinkers, but it's shown ma fakur hastim, motefakkeri. You know, we can get frustrated with our reality. Baz vakhta az vaqiyat ha khaste mi. And fall into a trap of almost trying to manipulate circumstances. Mi oftim tu ye dami ke mi khaim sharaito khodemun avas koni. So we can see what is in our heart come to reality. Mi khaim un chizi ke dar qalbemune be surat be vaqiyat tabdil beshe. Where the word simply says to trust in the Lord with all of your heart. کلام به ما میگه به تمامی دل خود بر خدا توکل نما و بر عقل خود تکیه مکن در همه راه های خود را بشناسید و او طریق هایت را راست خواهد گردانی We've got to be careful not to try to manipulate circumstances. Say na konim sharoet khodemun daskari koni. Or try to strive too hard. Ya be khayim khayli khodemun sakh kushesh bokani. Or try and even abuse a godly relationship. Hatta un rabete ke ba khoda darim azay su estefade bokani. To see what is in our heart come to pass. Ke un chizi ke dar ro'yay ke dar qalbemune be vaqiyat tabdil beshe. Let me talk to you a little bit about the difference between a goal and a dream. بذار یه مقدار درباره اون تفاوتی که بین یک هدف و یک رؤیا هست با شما صحبت کنم. I've got goals, lots of them. You've got goals. من اهداف بسیاری دارم. شما هم اهداف زیادی دارید. So I'm talking about something that you are attaining to. وقتی راجع به هدف میگم یعنی چیزی که میخواید بهش برسید. I've got lots of them. ما خیلی از این اهداف داریم. As a wife, as a mom. به عنوانی همسر یا مادر. As a minister. به عنوانی خادم خدا. As a friend. به عنوانی دوست. As a sister. به عنوانی خواهر. As a daughter. یا دختر. I have a lot of goals that I would like to achieve in my lifetime. اهداف بسیار دارم که در طول زندگی میخوام بهشون برسم. And goals are honourable. البته اهداف عالیان. Goals are integrous. قابل احترامان. In Habakkuk, God tells us to write down our vi- the the dream within our heart and to make it plain. در حبقوق کتاب حبقوق خدا میگه رؤیاهای خودت رو بنویس. So that we can stay on track and run with that dream. واضح درست بنویس تا بتونی اون ببینی و با اون حرکت کنی به اون برس. But you see, with goals, اهداف. Basically, with forward planning. چیزایی هست که ما به دربارشون. Wisdom. نقش میکشی. Wisdom. حکمت به کار میبریم. A disciplined approach to your goal. با نظم به طرفشون میریم. Goals are achievable. اهداف چیزایی هست که به دست آمدنی هست. If you can figure out how you can do it, اگر شما میخواید بدونید که چطور بعد انجام بده چی کار بذار بکنی. Then it's not a dream. پس دیگه این رویانی است. It's a goal. یه هدف. I don't know. I don't want to get to heaven. Man, Raja, be shaman. I'm doing. But I'm not going to heaven. And hear the words. Well done, my good and faithful planner. And Godavan, be man, be the chadem and nakhshe keshe man. Very good, Shamadi. Very good. I want to live in the land of the impossible. No, I'm not going to live in the land of the impossible. No, I'm not going to live in the land of the impossible. No, I'm not going to live in the land of the impossible. No, I'm not going to live in the land of the impossible. No, I'm not going to live in the land of the impossible. No, I'm not going to live in the land of the impossible. No, I'm not going to live in the land of the impossible. No, I'm not going to live in the land of the impossible. No, I'm not going to live in the land of the impossible. I say that people will never want to sing. So that they say that people will never want to sing. I want to live in that land of the impossible. I want to live in that land of the impossible. When God says with Him all things are possible. When God says with Him all things are possible. It's the faith realm. It's the faith realm. The God gap. 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 The God
What is in your heart? در قلب شما چی میگذره؟ What is it that's in your heart to do? چه چیزی تو قلبتون دارید که میخواد انجامش بدید؟ You know, often I remember not feeling confident at all that what was in my heart خیلی وقتا من could ever, ever happen. به یادم میاد چیزایی که در قلبم داشتم فکر میکردم هرگز به وقوع نخواهد پیدا. And it wasn't until I learned some of the nature and character of God تا زمانی که اون طبیعت و ذات خدا رو کامل شناختم. That he actually delights in using the foolish things, the ordinary people. Because then all glory must go to him. Isn't that wonderful? Have you got a dream for your family? Maybe in the generations gone by, family for you has represented just a mess. Can I encourage you today that with God, you can really let the dream that is in your heart, you can see it become a reality. من امروز میخوام شما رو تشویق کنم. اون چه که در قلب شما هست، بدونید به واقعیت تبدیل خواهد شد. By holding on to the word. اگر به کلام خدا بچسبید. Living in your God gap with great faith. در شکاف فاصله خدا با ایمانی قوی زندگی کنید. And believing for the impossible. به اون غیر ممکن ایمان بیارید. To be possible. که انجام میشه ممکن میشه. Earlier this year. اوایل امسال I was in Rwanda. من در رواندا بودم. And do you know what? I fell in love with the women of Rwanda. و من با اون زنایی که در کشور رواندا هستم واقعا عاشقش. I saw these amazing, amazing women. زنای عجیبی هستن. جالبن. Who had a dream? Who have got a dream in their heart for their children? رویایی در دل خودشون برای فرزندانشون داره. For their nation. برای ملتشون. And in the midst of such heartache. و در میانی تمام اون مشکلات. Here are these women. این زنها. Learning to live in their God gap. دارن یاد میگیرن چطور در این فاصله خداوند. And my friend, it is such a gap. زندگی کردن و شکاف عظیمی هم هست. But it is the safest place they could be. ولی ام ترین جایی که اونا میتونن باشن. And while they are over here living their reality. و حالا که اینجا هستند دارن واقعیت رو زندگی میکنن. Because the word of God works. چون کلام خدا عمل میکنه. We are seeing miracle after miracle after miracle in this nation. موجزه بعد از موجزه بعد از موجزه در این ملت اتفاق افتاده. As these incredible tenacious women. چون این زن های عالی will not let go of the promises of God for their children. The word of God works. It's fantastic. <laughs> A little bit from my, from my own experience. یه خودم میخوام درباره تجربه خودم باش مصاحبت کنم. You know when um, when first I started singing and uh, ministering in church. میدونید وقتی من اون اول شروع کردم در کلیسا سرود خوندم. You know I got so excited. خدمت کردم خیلی هیجان زده بودم. About what worship or music in church could be. فکر میکردم این پرستش و موسیقی در کلیسا چطور میتونه بشه. And I've got to tell you I was stepping out of the boat a little bit. ولی خب میخوام اعتراف کنم یه خوده از اون حد خودم خارج شده بود. You know, so I remember getting excited about going to sing in my church one of the first times. یادم اون اول خیلی هیجان داشتم. میخواستم تو کلیسا بخونم. And I took, I had a keyboard, a, um, a sort of old synthesizer خب keyboard. یه کیبورد با خودم بردم. روی کلمه کیبورد تأکید میکنم. And I walked in with my little keyboard. یه هدفی دارم. هی میگم. <laughs> and I put it up. با خودم بردم. And I was just about to launch out in song. زدمش به برق میخواستم شروع کنم بخوندم and the elders of the church came up to me یکی از رهبران کلیسا اومد به من گفت and they said you cannot play that devil's instrument شما in church شما نمیتونید این وسیله موسیقی شیطانی رو تو کلیسا استفاده کنید and I'm like oh sorry I thought it was a keyboard گفتم ببخشید من فکر کردم که این یه کیبورده <laughs> But you know what? They made me take my keyboard and get out of the church building خب من اون کیبورد رو برداشتم از کلیسا اصلا بردم بیرون and I was really perplexed that day. خیلی تعجب کرده بودم. My God, I just wanted to worship you. گفتم خداوند من فقط میخواستم تو رو بپرستم. But you know, I had to really understand. ولی خب بعد میفهمیدم. That rather than get an attitude. به جای اینکه بیام یک طرز برخورد غلطی داشته باشم. And get angry. عصبانی بشم. 
and get better. I just had to come back to my um, reality. Love the people around me. And serve the Lord. And trust God with the dream that was in my heart for music of the church and the earth. The gap between my reality and what was in my heart that day was like the biggest gap. <laughs> بزرگترین شکاف بود. But you know, here I stand many, many years later. ولی امروز سالهای بعد من اینجا در جلوی شما ایستادم. And because of faith. و به خاطر ایمان. The evidence of things unseen. که برهان چیزهای نادیده است. And the substance of things hoped for. و اعتماد بر چیزهای امید داشته شده. And because truly I knew what God had put in my heart. و چون واقعا خدا محبت شما را در قلب من گذاشته. I just learned to stand strong in the word of God. من روی کلام خدا ثابت ایستادم. And be faithful with what he had put in my hand that day. به اون که اون روز در دستم قرار داده بود امین موندم. All these years later. و حالا سالها بعد I stand amazed at what God has done throughout every nation on the earth as people honor and love the Lord again through music and through song they bring their keyboards and they bring their drums sometimes in the back of Africa they just bring their sticks and bring a beautiful dance before the Lord. You know, in some places they'll bring an orchestra. In some places they'll just bring voice. But they bring it to the glory of the living God. I really believe if I had gotten angry that day and allowed myself to get discouraged و به خودم این اجازه رو داده بودم که ناامید بشم و برم then I certainly wouldn't be standing here today part of 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 what God is doing on the earth so sovereignly and magnificently. امروز اینجا در حضور شما نیستاده بودم و در این کاری که خدا اینطور praise God. عالی داره انجام میده شرکت نداشتم جلال برنامه. Yeah, Mark and I for many many years we had a dream in our heart of helping young women. Mark و من همیشه در دلمون یه رؤیایی داشتیم که به زنهای جوان کمک کنیم. Of helping young women who were maybe um, pregnant and had nowhere to go. چه زنهای جوانی که حامله بودن ولی نمیدونستن چی Maybe helping young women who are suffering in severe depression or through abuse or through whatever. Um, and we're really finding it hard to actually get up and live at all. But we had a dream in our heart. But in our reality. Oh my gosh, we were so far from the dream that was in our heart. No, we had no finance. We had no help. We just had a really big dream and a very ordinary life. But guess what we had? Faith. 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 <laughs> That's all we had. Do you know what? By holding that dream um, tenderly and carefully, and just by being faithful in the everyday, little seemingly insignificant things, being faithful with what God had put in our hand that day, do you know, a few years later, I met up with a woman چند سال بعد من یه ملاقاتی داشتم با یه خانومی who was already running a ministry like what we had in our heart for Australia. What we had held in our hearts for 10, 12 years. Suddenly in an instant. ناگهان. Um, it was like a miracle occurred. 
and God brought about a supernatural connection. And in our own nation, just five years later, we have a ministry in our nation which is helping hundreds and hundreds of broken and hurting women. We are seeing babies who are going to be aborted be saved. We are seeing broken lives through the power of Jesus Christ be transformed and restored. But it wasn't through getting frustrated and angry. Or striving. Truly, it was just from being faithful in the ordinary. Trusting God to direct our steps. As we served Him with all our hearts. And today, we are seeing this ministry in, in our own nation go from strength to strength. Now one day I was sitting at home with my husband. And I was holding our newborn baby. And I was so happy. Because bottom line, I'm a mom. Mm. I could just keep having babies. And I was holding her and I said to my husband, I said, I feel like I'm living my dream. Do you know what he said to me? Well, dream bigger, honey. He totally challenged my one moment of wanting to settle back. And to not push forward into the dreams that God had placed in my heart. Thank God for people around us. Who can challenge any level of complacency in us. You know, there are some women who are watching today. And you feel like there is no way that God could answer the prayer in your heart. Maybe you feel like you were even born in the wrong nation. Maybe you feel totally locked within a system that doesn't allow you to dream. All that I can say to you today is that the word of God works. You have got to have faith. The evidence, remember, of the unseen. It is substant. Substance. <laughs> but it's hoped for. I truly believe if your life is yielded to the Lord, that your desires are truly his desires. And do you know he will open doors that no man can shut. In fact, that's his specialty. <laughs> he is a miracle working God. If we didn't need miracles, we wouldn't need our Father. That's why I say learn to love living in this gap. This gap that yes, it's scary. Sometimes you're like, what on earth am I doing? Ah, but when you know you're holding on to something that God has put in your heart, then all things are possible. All things are possible. Mother Teresa said an amazing thing. Mother Teresa said a very interesting thing. 
She said, "You'll never know that Jesus is all that you need." شما هرگز نخواهید دونست که عیسی همه اون چیزی است که شما بهش احتیاج دارید. Until Jesus is all that you need. زمانی که عیسی بشه همه اون چیزی که فقط داری. You gotta believe in this word of God, my friends. به کلام خدا ایمان بیاری دوستان من. Okay, so let me talk to you about a few things you don't want to know about your dream. Okay. خب بذارید یه چیزایی رو درباره اون رؤیای شما به شما بگم که شاید نمیخواید بدونید. Do you really want me to tell you? میخوام بهتون بگم. It's hard work. کوشش و کار زیاد. Now I don't I don't know many women who who don't work. من زنای زیادی رو نمیشناسم که نخوان کار بکنن. We know how to work hard. ما میدونیم چطور باید سخت کوشش کنی. Do you know when you are pioneering something? میدونید ولی وقتی در یه کاری میخواید پیشتاز باشی. When you're doing something for the first time, وقتی یک کاری دارید برای اولین بار انجام میدی. Maybe you are starting to walk in something that your family all said you will never be able to do. شاید میخواد یک کاری انجام بدید که همه کس دور بار به شما گفته که نمیتونی این کار بکنی. You know what? It takes a lot of focus. خب بعد خیلی روی اون کار متمرکز بشی. It takes long hours. ساعت طولانی براش بگذاری. It's not comfortable. خب راحت نخواهید بود. You know what? It's not supposed to be comfortable. ولی خب مام قرار نیست که راحت باشیم همه. The life of a leader. زندگی یک رهبر. The life of a world changer. کسی که بخواد دنیا رو عوض بکنه. You know they never they never change the world. این جور افراد نمی‌تونن دنیا رو عوض بکنن. By sitting in a land of comfortable. اگه بخوام برن یه جای راحت و آروم بشینن. World changes. کسایی که میخوان دنیا رو عوض بکنن. Are are tough. آدمای are strong because it's not comfortable when you're stepping out um, of of maybe preconceived ideas and preset limits over your life and the life of the future you need to learn this phrase in I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. We'll say it again. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Notice it doesn't say I can do all things in my own strength. No, it says I can do all things through Christ. Who arms us with strength. Okay, here's another thing you don't want to know about your dream. Sometimes when you're in your God gap, it will seem unfair. It will seem unfair. Maybe you compare yourself or your life with others. Chat zindagi khutun ba digaran magaise mikan. And say, why is it easier for them? Mi bini zindagi ona chakat asune. There'll be days when you face disappointments. Ye ruzay mishe ke kamelan naomid mishi. You might feel overlooked. Bek bikoit ke hich kas shomar ne mi bine. Or maybe you're faced with insurmountable tragedy. And it's not really how you thought your life would unfold. I really encourage you to make sure your heart is good while you are working through these things. I want to encourage you to make sure your heart is good while you are working through And to not fall into the trap of comparing yourself with somebody else. Because God in heaven who saw you before the foundations of the earth. Even if you feel overlooked. He has designed you with a perfect plan and purpose for your life. Just as sometimes when you're walking it out in reality, it feels really hard. And that's why, my friend, I say, get in your God game. Get in this place of faith. Another thing, you know. Well, I had I had recently a girlfriend whose um, whose baby just tragically died at five months old. آخرین که از دوستان من یه بچه پنج ماهه خودش رو به نحوه خیلی بدی از دست داد. And she is a strong worship leader. یکی از رهبران پرستشی خیلی قدیم. She's a true daughter of Zion. یکی از دختران سهیونه. She is an amazing worshipper. یک پرستنده عالیه. 
But you know I have watched her. ولی خب من او را همیشه دیدم. I have watched her faithfully stay in her God gap. دیدمش اوقاتی که در این شکاف خدا با غیرت ایستاده. I've watched her on days that she wanted to die. روزهای را هم دیدم که او میخواسته بمیره. But I'll read to you from Psalm 31:14. ولی میخوام از مزمور 31 آیه 14 براتون بخونم. And it says, I will trust in you, O Lord. که میگه من بر تو ای خداوند توکل میدارم. My times are in your hands. وقت های من در دست تو می باشد. As she has declared this scripture over her world again and again. وقتی این خانم این آیات رو برای زندگی خودش دعا کرده هر روز She has learned the safest place she could possibly be. فهمیده که امن ترین جایی که میتونه باشه is not in her ordinary. در اون جای عادی زندگی خودش نیست. But in her God gap. در اون شکاف و فاصله خداوند. Where she stays in that place of faith. وقتی که در اون جایی میمونه که ایمان هست. Trusting that her times are in his hands. و توکل داره ایمان داره که وقتش در دست خدا. You know it's easy to pray these scriptures over your world when your life is going great. آسون ما کلام خدا رو برای زندگی های خودمون دعا بکنیم وقتی همه چیز شیر و شکر زندگیمون عالیه. But I encourage every one of you to pray them over your world when your life is not going as you had planned. ولی من میخوام شما کلام خدا رو برای زندگی خودتون دعا بکنید وقتی که چیزها عالی نیست. مشکلات هست. That my times are in your hands. بگید خداوند وقت های من در دست تو می Safe in our God gap. ما در اون شکاف و فاصله خدا امنیت. Let me talk to you a little bit more about this. We're going to look at Second Corinthians. خب اجازه بدید یه مقدار راجع به این موضوع بیشتر صحبت کنیم. Chapter one. دوم قرنتیان. And verse twenty. پس لیک آیه بیست. Okay. خب. And it says in here, no matter how many promises God has made. میگه زیرا چنان که وعده های خدا بسیار است. In Christ, they are yes and amen. در مسی همه بالی و آمین می‌باشد. And so through Him, the amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. اون بالی که ما می‌گیم، اون آمینی که ما می‌گیم برای جلال خدا. It's a powerful scripture. آیه پرقدرتیه. And again, one to remember when your life feels so ordinary. و آیه‌ای که باید وقت زندگیمون خیلی عادیه بیاد داشته باشه. And when you feel so far from the dream that is in your heart. وقت می‌بینید از اون رویایی که در قلب شماست چقدر دور هست. Let me read it again. No matter how many promises God has made. دوباره بخونید. هر چه وعده‌ای بسیاری که خدا می‌دهد. They are yes in Christ. در مسی بالی آمینه. And then we say Amen. و وقتی ما می‌گیم آمین. To the glory of God. برای جلال نام خدا. So here is a few really basic points about things that I have learned about trying to work well in my reality. خب حالا یه چیزایی که من خودم یاد گرفتم که چطور با واقعیت های زندگیم while on the way to the dream in my heart. زندگی کنم کنار بیام وقتی که دارم به طرف اون رؤیایی که در قلبم هست. So point number one. شماره یک. Be consumed with the needs of others. جذب اون رؤیاها و احتیاجات دیگران بشید. You know, often when you are overdoing ordinary life. خیلی وقتا وقتی ما داریم زندگی عادی خودمون رو میکنیم. You can be so consumed with seeing your dream come to pass. اینقدر قرق در اون رؤیای خودمون رو به عمل در اومدن اون میشیم. You totally forget about the needs of those around you. که اصلا احتیاجات دیگران رو در دوره بر خودمون فراموش میکنیم. You know the mission in our life. Me dunit, خدمت ما در زندگی. Bottom line is not that we live happy, fulfilled lives. این نیست که ما یه زندگی خوش و خوشحال و اینا رو انجام بدهیم و تامل. But it is that we point people to the reality of Jesus Christ. بعد می‌دونیم که ما مردم بیاریم با حقیقت که عیسی مسیح آش نابکنیم. And I have found again and again and again. من اینم متوجه شدم که بارها و بارها و بارها. That the dream in my heart is becoming a reality. رویایی که در قلب من واقعیت می‌پذیره. While I am consumed with the needs of others, وقتی که من میرم سراغ احتیاجات دیگران جذب اونا میشم. You can be so busy going my dream, my dream, my dream. شما ممکن این قدر گای در خودتون قرق بشید روی آیا؟ And your neighbor might be saying, I need help, I need help, and you're too busy. خاسته من 
که دیگران وقتی میگن کمک کمک ما خیلی مشغولیم yeah, I'm too busy. I've, I've got a dream I'm following. <laughs> من خودم یه رویایی دارم دنبال اونم نمیتونم به تو برسم. Sometimes your children are yelling mom I need you I need you. حتی بچه‌هاتون دارن فریاد میزنن مامان به تو احتیاج دارم. But mom is too busy because she's on a mission. <laughs> ولی مامان مشغول مامان یه خدمتی داره بعد انجام بده. It's not all about you. عزیزان زندگی همش درباره شما نیست. We can get so locked and frustrated. گویا اینقدر ما غرق میشیم خسته میشیم by seeing all of the impossible چون همه غیر ممکن ها رو جلوی خودمون میبینیم we become totally fixed on seeing that impossible become real و ثابت میشیم روی اینکه این غیر ممکن حتما ممکن بشه that you miss the awesome opportunities that are right in front of you وقت فرصت هایی که جلوی چشممون از دست میدیم be consumed with the needs of others عزیزان به احتیاجات دیگران دقت کنید take time وقت بگذارید to listen گوش بدید to the cries around you به ناله ها و فریاد هایی که دور ورتون هست when i talk about billy graham وقتی درباره بیلی گراهام صحبت کردم how did he find himself living his dream چطوری دید که رویاهاش به حقیقت تبدیل شد remember one person at a time یه نفر برای همون روز one day at a time یک روز برای همون روز زندگی کرد really well with what it was in his hand that day نسبت به اون چیزی که خدا در دستش برای همون روز گذاشته بود امین موند it's amazing again i mentioned matthew 6 جالبه من میخوام دوباره متا فصل 6 رو براتون بگم about seeking first the kingdom of God. میگه اول ملکوت خدا را به طلبی. Advancing the kingdom of God. بخواد ملکوت خدا در روی این زمین پیاده بشه. And what does it say? And all these things. و بعد میگه همه این چیزها. All these dreams. تمام رویاهاتون. All these things that you're passionate about. تمام اون اشتیاق دلتون. They will be added to you. بر شما مزید خواهد شد. But not at the expense of people. اما نه به خرج از جیب دیگران. You know the the atmosphere of heaven is worship. میدونی جو ملکوت جو پرستشیه. But the economy of heaven is people. ولی اقتصاد ملکوت بر پایه مردمه. Just always remember that. اینو به یاد داشته باش. Point number two. نکته دوم. Make other people's dreams come true. با اسپشیت که رؤیاهای دیگران به حقیقت به پیونده. This is easier said than done. البته این گفتنش آسونه ولی عملش سخته. It's it's the scriptures that people like to flip over. بعضی از آیات هست که میخوایم فرق بزنیم ازش رد بشه. Words like give away your life so that others may find life. مثلا وقتی میگه جان خود رو بگذارید به دیگران حیات بدید. Dying to self. میگه نسبت به خودتون بمیرید. Preferring others. میگه دیگران رو به خودتون ترجیح بدید. See again, you can get so stuck on seeing your dream come to pass. گاهی وقتا اینقدر ما در اون رؤیای خودمون غرقی میخوایم اون رو به حقیقت به پیوند بدیم. Preferring others? Are you serious? میگم دیگران رو به خودم ترجیح بدم؟ راستی داری حرف میزنی؟ No, but that's what the word of God says. این چیزی که کلام خدا میگه. It's amazing in the words so often. جالبه در کلام خدا اکثران. The scripture basically says it's totally opposite to the economy of the world. اون چه که کلام خدا میگه درست بر خلاف این اقتصاد دنیا. The world says, you know, put yourself first. دنیا میگه اول خودت. Look after yourself. خودت رو موازه بر. Then all these other things will be okay. چیزای دیگه سر جای خودش قرار میگیره. No way. God says. ولی خدا میگه. To to find your life. اگه میخوای حیات خودت دریافت. You actually got to lose it. بعد اون رو بدی. You know, so again. Women, bold women, courageous women. Just do well, one day at a time. زندگی خودتون رو. Loving the Lord. هر روز برای هم روز انجام. Allowing Him to teach and mold your heart. به خدا نزدیک بشید. اجازه بدید قلب شما رو در دست خودش بگیرد. Finding yourself loving your God gap. دوست داشته باشید در همین شکاف خدا زندگی کنید. And I'm telling you, it is only a matter of time. مم امروز دارم به شما میگم این فقط زمان نیست. No matter what environment you are living in. در هر شرایطی که دارید زندگی میکنید. That you will find yourself. هر کجا که هستی. Living in some of the dreams that reside inside of you. متوجه میشید بعضی از اون رؤیاهایی که در دلتون دارید به حقیقت خواهد بود. They were not given to tease you. خدا این رؤیاها رو به شما نهایت که شما را عزیت کنه. But dreams are always given to inspire. این رویاها به شما داده شده که شما را امیدوار کنه. To pull us out of a small life. شما را به حرکت بیاره از زندگی حقیر بکشه بیرون. You know things like injustice and. در برابر چیزایی مثل ناعدالتی بیستی. Yeah, many of you have a dream to do something about things on the earth that are wrong. رویا به شما داده شده در برابر اون چیزایی که در این دنیا خطا هستن بیستی. 
In Micah we are instructed as worshippers. در این کاری که من انجام میدم به عنوان یک زنی که پرستنده خداست. To bring justice. بخوام عدالت رو بیارم. But you go, well, how can I? I'm just one woman. I'm just, I've got a family. I've, I've, I've got no money. I've, I've just live a small life. I've got no money. I've just live a small life. I've got no money. I've are possible. I get so excited. You imagine if a generation of women started to get angry about injustice. And we started to truly take the word of God in its full form. And, and trust it wholly. I'm telling you, Every demon in hell should be very nervous right now. As the girls start to understand that through him all things are possible. One can put a thousand to flight. Two can put ten thousand. You imagine a generation of women coming together. What God can do, I'm telling you, it's Ephesians 3.20. Way beyond anything you could ever ask or think. Or dare to even imagine. Awesome. Okay, I'll move on. <laughs> Point number three. You know, your dreams will be tested. And a lot of them will be tested at home. You know, some people are waiting just for one day when I get on a platform, or then I'll be able to see the dream in my heart come to pass. But can I be honest? The, the time I get to spend on a platform compared to the time I get to spend doing life. Is just the tiniest percent. Our unseen life of worship. Our unseen ordinary life. Truly matters. And the value of that, I'm telling you, will make a way where there is no way. So your dreams will be tested. In the unseen. Discipline. Diligence. Big things in life, successful things in life. Adizan, chizay bozorg zendegi, mo afaqiyat hay bozorg zendegi. Just simply made up of lots of little things. Az hami chizay kuchulu kuchulu zendegi tashkil shodan. Seemingly insignificant things. Ke be nazar khali na chiz miyan. Done well consistently. Vali vakti unhar daeman dorost anjam bedi. Will allow you to walk in the power of some of your dreams. Be shomayin forsat mide ke ro'yahatun be chesh be khatun bebini. Oh, it's um. There's so many things that I would love to say about this. خیلی چیز هست که درباره این موضوع میخوام به شما بگم. Another point, your confession matters. یه نکته دیگه اینه که اعتراف شما مهمه. You know, the word is very specific about the words that frame our world. درباره اون کلامی، اون گفته‌ای که زندگی ما رو می‌سازه خیلی صحبت. And if you get too discouraged with your ordinary. وقتی شما در زندگی عادی خود تو ناامید میشی. And you just speak death over your own life. It could never happen. It never happened before. I'm just one person. My husband will never be saved. My children will never love the Lord. Poor me, poor me, poor me. Do you know the words that come out of your mouth? They bring life or death. And in your ordinary, you need to learn to speak words of life. Knowing who you are in Christ. 
For me, when I first got saved, من وقتی خودمون اوایل نجات پیدا کردم. I spoke Psalm 139 over my life every day. هر روز مزمور 139 رو در زندگی خودم می‌خونم. That even though I felt insignificant, اگر چه خودم رو خیلی ناچیز می‌دیدم. And very unloved. از کسی دوست هم نداشت. That the word of God told me. ولی کلام خدا من گفت. That I was fearfully and wonderfully made. که من به طور مهیب و عجیب ساخته شدم. Every one of my days. که همه روزهای زندگیم رو. Was written about. خدا نقش بسته. And accounted for. خدا می دونه. Before I came into being. حتی قبل از که من ساخته بشم. That He knit me together in my mother's womb. او مرا در رحم مادرم شکل داد. That He cared about the way I was intrinsically made. آنچه در درون من ساخته بود برایش مهم بود. If you don't believe that for your اگر شما در زندگی خودتون به این مطلب اعتقاد ندارید Psalm 139 would be a powerful chapter to speak over your life از قوت و قدرتی که در مزمور 139 هست در زندگی خودتون استفاده کنید And as you are doing just daily life و همینطور که دارید زندگی عادیتون رو میکنید Daily chores همینطور که کارهای روزمرت رو انجام میدید You start to say بگید Firstly, thank you. Remember that praise is the entry point always. Aizam, parastesh jais ke man miyan behuzur. Praise is always your entry point. Setayesh jais ke man miyan behuzur. Thank you, Father. I commit my way to you. Begit Khoda yar tariq hai khodam ro betomi separ. And you start to speak life over your circumstance. Va be sharaat door var khodun hayat ro bedami. Maybe you have no food. Shad qaza tu khunatun nis. You start to speak life over your circumstance. Vali hayat ro bedamid be sharaat. Maybe you have a husband who does not know the Lord. Ye shohari dari ke khoda ro nemishnase. And maybe you are treated very unkindly. Ya khayli ba shoma bad raftari mikan. Honey, Azizam, start to speak the word of God over your circumstance. کلام خدا را به شرایط خودت بگو. God hears every prayer. خدا هر دعای را میشنوه. And He bottles every tear. هر اشکی را میبینه. Maybe you have got a dream that is so big. شاید یه رویایی در دلت داری که خیلی بازار. And you feel so small. خودت فهم کنی من چقدر کوچک و حقیره. You start to speak the word of God. نه کلام خدا رو صحبت کن. You get yourself in your God gap. خودت رو بذار در اون. It is the safest place. شکاف خدا اونجا مطمئن تری. That you can be. که تو میتونی قرار داشته باشی. What I have learned here in the God gap. چیزی که من در این شکاف یاد گرفتم. While I am working hard. In a season of young children, you know, sleepless nights, and working hard, and all the women who know what I'm talking about, you just say, I'm right with you. <laughs> I've learned that his yoke is easy. And his burden is light. But if I get focused on what isn't happening, and I forget to look up at the majesty and faithfulness of my God, then I keep myself out of the faith realm. It's a great discipline to push yourself back into the land of faith. خیلی زحمت میخواد تا دوباره خودمون رو بیاریم در این سرزمین ایمان قرار بدیم. Just one last thing, you know. یه چیز آخری که میخوام بگم. اگر رویایی از جانب خداست، they chase you down. شما رو دنبال میکنه. You know, there's been a couple of dreams in my life. چند رویایی در زندگی من بوده that I have truly tried to walk away from. که من واقعا میخواستم از اونا فاصله بگیرم. I'm like, well, that is too hard. فکر میکردم خدا این خیلی سخت. That is too impossible. این اصلا غیر ممکنه. But you know what? I would lie in bed at night. ولی میدونید شب‌ها توی جای خودم میخوابیدم. And the spirit of God. و روح خدا. Deep within me. در درون من. Would be stirring it up. دوباره این رویه ها رو به یاد من میاد. And I'm like, no. گفتم نه. I cannot do that. نه نمیتونم. He's like, exactly. میگم نه. Because I can. و نمیتونی. ولی من میتونم. I can. So I just encourage you with all that is in me today. پس من امروز میخوام شما رو تشویق کنم از اینها و همه وجودم. If what is in your heart seems so far from your reality, then guess what? 
We serve the God of heaven and earth. ما خدایی را خدمت می‌کنیم که خدای زمین آسمان. Who with just one word. او کلامی گفت. So creation start to unfold before him. به همه هستی خلق شد. He saw you before the foundations of the earth. او شما را قبل از پیدایش عالم می‌شناخت. He knew where you would be today. او می‌دونست امروز شما کجا خواهید بود. And just like a good father. او مثل یه پدر عالی. He's just waiting for you to come. منتظر که شما بیاید. And to trust him. و به او اعتماد کنید. to serve him with your life. و او را با زندگیتون خدمت کنید. So I would love it if you would allow me the honor and privilege of praying with you today. خیلی خوشحال میشم و افتخاری برای من برای شما امروز دارم. And I'm truly going to ask God for miracles in your world. میخوام از خدا بخوام که در جایی که شما هستید معجزه کنه. I have seen God work so many miracles in my life. من دیدم خدا در زندگی من به دفعات معجزه کرده. It's got nothing to do with who I am. اصلا ارتباطی به من نداره. It's got everything to do with the faithfulness and kindness of our God. همه چیز درباره وفاداری و محبت خدا است. Do you really trust God with your life? اگر امروز میخواید به خدا توکل کنید. Well, if that's you today, why don't we pray? و اون فرد شما هستید بیاید با هم دعا کنیم. And really ask God to work a miracle in your life. که در زندگی شما معجزه ای بکنه. And I pray for every one of you that you would have the courage. برای یک بیک شما دعای میکنم. To jump into your God gap. که شجاع باشید بیاید به پریتی این. And love it. شکافی که خدا یاد داره. Let me pray. خیلی دوست دارم اینجا رو. براتون دعای میکنم. Our most awesome Father. پدر عزیز عالی ما. You have created all these magnificent women. تو تمام این زنهاي عالی رو خلق کرده. None of them is alive by default. هیچ کدوم اونها اشتباهی نیست که در زندگی. All by chance. شانسی هم نیست. But they are here by divine plan and purpose. یک به یک اونها اینجا هستن برای اون نقشه عالی الهی که دارن. I thank you, Father. There is not one person. که در می دونم که یک نفر وجود نداره. Who will not have the opportunity to live? Can in for sad be uda de nasho de bache? And really live in the fullness of the life of Christ. Ke dar un puri hayat to zendegi bokan. For those out there who need strength, I speak strength in Jesus' name. Ke dar un insani ke be qovat ehtiyaj daran dar naam e Isai Masih barushun qovat. For those who need healing, I speak healing over their households in Jesus' name. Unai ke be shafa ehtiyaj daran dar naam e Isai Masih bari unha shafa mi talabam. For those who need generational curses broken, Father God, I just speak Your name over their circumstance right now. Unai ke bad laanat az zendegi shun bar dashte be shafa dar daa mi kan. در اسم ایسای مسیح در همین لحظه برداشته بشه برای اونهایی که نیاز دارن شجاع باشن خدا که در بگذار اونها امروز این قوت رو در تو بیابن For those who need friends. اونهایی که به دوست احتیاج دارن Lord God, I pray that they will never again find themselves lonely. دعا می کنم که دیگه هرگز تنهایی رو حس نکنن تنها مونده نباشن Lord Jesus, for those who are feeling so frustrated with all that is in their heart. پدر برای اونهایی که در قلب خودشون دیگه خسته شدن I pray today that they will learn to let go. دعا می کنم پدر که and to yield themselves again. As in, chastity, raha beshan, khodeshun ro betot hekiye bedan. Into your incredible plan and purpose. Va bebinan ke tuen akshi ali baroshun dari. Not our will, Father. Na irade ma. But your will be done. Balki irade tu anjam beshi. On earth as it is in heaven. Dar ruy zamin anchanan ke dar asman. And I speak it now with great faith and confidence. Imruz in ro man ba qovat va ba. In the miracle working power. Ba un qovat mojeze ke dar tu hast. Of the name that is above every other name. Dar un nami ke balatar az har nami. We speak the name of Jesus together. Nami isaim ba ham migi. And we all said together. Hamem ba ham migi. Amen. 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 While we finish, let me read to you Hebrews 11. Now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. پس ایمان اعتماد بر چیزهای امید داشته شده است و برهان چیزهای نادیده. Let it be in Jesus' name. چنین بشه و در نام ایسای مسیح. Amen. Amen. I love you. Do set under.